Horde Knight 126, and we got our requisite uh, Ravenhurst. Oh, we should probably close that shit. <laughs> that was close. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are on Horde Day 126, or Horde Night 126. Uh, Horde base is all fixed back up. I got uh, everything, in, all the walls inside of our explosion chamber upgraded to steel. And um, this block, I'm surprised this block hasn't cured. I mean, it's been several days since I upgraded that, but whatever. And uh, I didn't get uh, the rest of the, the roof done there just because I... Um, Ran out of steel at the time. Let's get that stuff upgraded. And let's see. I think that's pretty much all I did. Just, you know, getting some uh, final uh, touches and, and repairs and that sort of thing done. Let's close that. That just holds our, our repairing fence posts. Not that we really need to ever use them because the zombies don't get through to them. I noticed that they seem to break through here a lot. So let's reinforce the second block on here so that that's um, reinforced. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, how much steel do I have? I've got over a full stack. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and hit these upper blocks too. I don't think I'm going to hit those lower ones, at least not for now. I, I, I want to make sure we have plenty of steel for repairing, though, honestly, we, we do. Uh, we definitely have enough. We still have a full block, uh, our full stack there. Uh, so, yeah, I got everything in my inventory uh, for repairing and uh, our pipe bombs. I um, have switched over uh, to the Desert Eagle that we found in the last uh, POI, the, the Lakeside Lodge POI. Boy, that place was nasty. Uh, so I've got this modded up with a silencer and a rad remover. If you guys remember, I've got the, um, uh, I finished the, is it Night Stalker or, no, not Night Stalker, Great Heist. I finished the one that makes silencers no longer uh, reduce their damage, whichever one it was. Sniper, Rangers, Pistol Pete, Night Stalker, what the hell, which, oh, was it the Great Heist? I could have sworn... That we did that. Did we not do that? Learn how to craft. Okay, it wasn't the great heist. I'm looking at all the ones that are seven. You can one-shot most blocks. You can craft a ghillie suit. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. I thought we had done that. Which one is it? Automatic. What time is it? Oh, yeah, we got, we got to get inside. <laughs> I thought, I thought I had done that i am like so confused here let's um let's look at this again so it should be i thought it would be night stalker sneak attacks at knives uh, or at night pistol pete it wouldn't be pistol pete sniper you can craft a ghillie um oh yeah urban combat what threw me off is i was looking for seven so we finished urban combat i guess we only have four books here in ravenhurst and silencers have no damage penalty. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah. Horde Knight 126. And we got our requisite uh, Ravenhurst. Oh, we should probably close that shit. <laughs> that was close. Uh, I was just thinking, man. We need, we need to close that. Okay. Anyway, uh, same thing, guys. I'm just going to let the zombies build up a little bit. Then we're going to throw bombs at them, get lots of XP. Uh, we're a little over halfway to the next level. We have no XP at the moment. But we should get it tonight. All right. I'll see you in the morning.
All right, guys, it is morning. Another very smooth horde night. Uh, nothing real crazy happened at all. Uh, and we have earned ourselves a total of six points. However, two of those uh, were bonus points from hitting level 80. So we actually earned four points. And um, took us about five and a half stacks of, of pipe bombs in total because... Again, I was just kind of being conservative with them, waiting for, you know, them to build up before I throw them rather than just throwing them nonstop. And uh, that seems to work pretty good. So let's uh, do the usual here. We'll kill the remaining stragglers, and then we'll go check out the loot. I heard a couple of blocks uh, breaking overnight. So, uh, but, you know, nothing too major. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay, that's it. Let's put these on. The other thing I did is I I uh, directly wired from the generator right down to the fence, even though the fences aren't being used, just because, you know, this thing almost was destroyed last time. And, of course, you know, I upgraded to the, to the steel door here. Whoops. Open that back up. Okay. I almost screwed myself <laughs> by forgetting to, uh, uh, you know, forgetting to lower that fence there um i mean i don't know it's it's almost you can almost make an argument that we don't need it but the thing is is if i have to get out of here in the heat of battle and i accidentally miss my jump or something that would not be good okay so i did hear some bro blocks breaking well you know what let's actually get our our loot first before anything despawns do i have any eye candy in here i do not okay Okay, so let's, uh, okay, so we have some blocks that broke here, and that too, uh, but let's check our, our bags. I wonder why they focus so much in this area here. That seemed to happen last time too, I don't know. Let's we'll have to get all that upgraded to steel. Okay, so let's check our loot skis. You know, we, um, we read the, the book that allows us to... Those are nice. Allows us to drink beer, have the effects last twice as long, and not get uh, blurred vision. So that means we can start drinking beer for stamina buff, you know, if we if we wanted to. That's a pretty nice pickaxe. Decent uh, steel axe there. A little food and action. Oh, okay. That's a nice find, and that's a really nice find. Okay, we'll take both of those. Let's see here. I'm going to scrap this. And, uh... Oh, I guess we could take all of those. All right, let's just drop a couple things off over here. Really nice high-level iron sledgehammer. And a couple bags down here. Okay. All right, so that should be it for the loot skis. Uh, as usual, everything looks really good down here. Um, damn near no damage at all, I mean, to speak of, really. So it looks great down here. And um, they, okay, so they busted this one out here. So I might make the doorways polished steel just to make these a little bit stronger. Uh, we didn't get a behemoth come in, so this just was from whatever damaged it. I also upgraded our little fence cage up here to, to steel, too, but it has, like, no damage whatsoever, so they're not, they're not doing anything. And I suspect probably most of this damage is coming from underneath and not on top anyway. Uh, we did get two or three of the diamond phoenixes that came in, but I upgraded my bars to steel so these are actually steel bars 6,000 hit points so yeah we don't really need to worry about that guy i did get hit a few times from the the shocker bomber guy um he and he did shoot the cage but of course you know with it being steel it it was able to handle it no problem i just touched it up a little bit so yeah very pleased with the base still working uh extremely well can't complain you know uh, basically with how it's doing and the xp that it's given us looks like they dug out you know a little bit of the dirt there so we'll have to fix that but you know, overall, not too bad of damage. Um, it did seem like the super monsters hung around a little bit longer. 
I didn't get back into the, just the normal run of the mill stuff until oh, probably around one o'clock in the morning, one thirty in the morning or so. And of course, uh, I'll cut that out uh, of the of the video for you guys. But uh, yeah, pretty good, uh, pretty good horde night overall. Can't complain. So I'll come back here as usual, you know, the day before the next horde and get everything repaired and fixed back up, upgraded maybe just a little bit more depending upon where our resources and all that are at. I don't have any um, rebar on me right at the moment to fix those things, but. Uh, yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so I think the next thing I want to do is let's go see if all of our crops are fully uh, ripened now. Because if they are, uh, then we're going to do our first harvest. Excuse me, with our new garden set up and the irrigation pipes. It's so nice to not have to mess with them um, having to water, uh, do the water. Because basically I'd have to do it like twice per harvest. Um, and you know, now we don't have to do that anymore, but I'll tell you what, it was very, very expensive and a lot of work for me to, to get all those pipes done because, you know, 50 ingots per pipe. And I don't even know how many we did, but it was a lot. So, okay. So let's see, you are mature. These are the last things I planted. So yeah, it looks like the whole garden is completely grown. Oh, this is beautiful. So the first plant, I think that I want to... Uh, we're starting to work on hops too, but I think the first crop that we want to expand some more of is the carrots because, you know, I, I seem to have extra potatoes left over, extra corn left over, extra cabbage, tomatoes, that sort of thing. That's the carrots that I'm always running out of. So we're going to start taking, I don't know, maybe a third or so of the harvest of the carrots. And I've been working on fertilizer and expand those uh, to more than 20 plants. And, you know, then I'll just kind of play things by ear and see what the, you know, the next plant is that seems to be, oh, we got a bag down here, running out and, you know, just kind of go uh, that way. I obviously, I have to come around and fix our um, iron spikes too. Uh, they're, they've just, I, I know I keep saying this, but they, they're they really doing such a fantastic job of keeping the screamers and the zombos off the base. And they're so, you know, they're so simple. It's just spikes upgraded to iron. And, you know, every two to three days or so, I just come out, repair them, replace them and then I don't got to worry about it anymore. So, I mean, they don't even hardly hit the side of the of the moat here. You know, if we run along, you can't really see any visible damage. There's probably very light surface damage on it. But, I mean, none of these blocks are, are showing damage. There's no cracks because they hit the spikes, the spikes stun lock them and then kill them, you know, and they just don't have a chance to really hit anything. So it's it's super effective. And I like stuff like that, stuff that's really simple yet really effective. So very cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, I want to harvest the crops and let's see, we've got a quest. Um, we're going to start doing some tier threes just because there's so many more tier threes that we haven't seen yet. And it seems like we've gone through pretty much all the tier fours. I mean, we got the high school, we got the lodge, we've got the uh, waterworks, we've got the asylum in the colony ship. I believe those are the only ones I've seen, and I've done every one of those except for the colony ship, you know, more than once. And, you know, we, we need to keep working on the Tier 4 so that we can graduate to Tier 5, but I think my plan for Tier 4 moving forward is probably just going to be to do them off camera and probably do the quicker and easier ones, like the Waterworks is probably the easiest and quickest one to do, uh, followed by the church and just get those knocked out so that we can get to tier five and then, you know, go from there. But I do want to do some tier threes just to kind of experience them. And, uh, you know, one thing that I, I was watching one of the fun pimps dev streams last night. And one of the features of Alpha 20 is that we're going to actually be able to uh, choose which tier we want to go back to all the way back to tier one if we want to do. Because right now, I think the, you can only go back one tier. So I don't think I can go back to tier two at all right now but i can go back to tier three so before we graduate from tier four i want to i want to experience some of the more to uh some more tier threes you know that we haven't seen yet okay so anyway i'm going to cut the camera here i'm going to work on the garden uh get the crops harvested get some food made get everything replanted and then when that's done we'll we'll probably go do this tier three quest uh, that is the tentative plan at the moment okay so i'll see you guys a little bit later on today all right, guys, we are back, and I've finally uh, finished harvesting and replanting the garden, making more seeds, that sort of thing. 
And uh, so let's make some points and we also, or make some points. Let's make some food and we also need to look at our points. So I, I made an extra large storage here for all the, the raw uh, food that we have. This will be canned food and prepared food and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so the first thing I guess I want to look at is uh, we have one thing of peas. So I think that means we should be able to make a gumbo. Let's take a look and see what we need for that. So we need a beef stock fat and boiled water uh, okay beef soup stock fat and boiled water okay and let's see we got to get some some fuel for the fire here too I'll put that back in there for now Let's put that in there. Recipes, gumbo. Um, what are we missing? Oh, we need three fat. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's get that going. Um, now, you know, we have a whole crap ton of um, spoiled meat. We could make some hobo stew. Let's look, let's look at something here. So... Um, uh, let's see, da, 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 da. I'm just trying to look and see what my better dishes are that we can make. Of course, the thing is, is I don't know, it doesn't tell us here what the nutrients are of these things. So, hobo stew is pretty good, and it requires potatoes, corn, two of each of those. Yeah, hmm, okay, so that requires two of each. Fried mushrooms, that sounds good. Uh, we can make meat stew, which is decent. Uh, sham chowder is really good. And steak and potatoes are pretty good, too. And, re you know, relatively cheap. And then, of course, vegetable stew. Yucca chips. Yeah, this stuff is all still locked to us. Okay, um, let's see. We can also make corn dogs. we got a whole bunch of chili. But I don't, uh, or not, no, it's not corn dogs, chili dogs. I don't think the corn dogs are as good as like the, the some of the other things. Uh, oh man, we don't have a single can of sham in here. Wow. Okay, that kind of sucks. So much for making sham chowder because that would have been probably our next best dish. Okay. Well, um, in that case, let's go back into here again. Bowl of veggies. Those are decent but they're not like super good the salad's really good we can make some salad the meat stews are, are decent i think steak and potatoes probably going to be give us the best bang for our buck um as the next one particularly because it's really cheap to make in comparison but you know what let's do let's let's make a hobo stew and steak and potatoes and just compare the two and see which one's better. Because steak and potatoes is cheaper than hobo stew, and if it's almost as good, I mean, you know, like, why not, right? Okay, so for a hobo, we need potatoes, corn, fat, water, and all of the veggies. Yeah, see, that's pretty damned expensive. So let's just get one full stack of cabbage, potatoes, corn, onions... Carrots, that's, we're still low on those, but I used a whole bunch of them to make some more seeds. I'm going to grab some of those, too. Let's grab our meat. Um, let's get some lettuce for... Oh, we can make blueberry pie, too. How many eggs do we have? Only two. Okay, that's not a whole lot. We might have to go get some eggs at some point. Uh, let's grab these tomatoes as well, and... Some cukes and some... Le oh, we already have lettuce. I think that's everything. Okay, so we also have um, yucca, too. So we can make... Do we know how to make the yucca smoothie? Uh, we can make fried yucca chips, which are kind of good and, and pretty cheap. Yucca smoothie. No, we don't know how to make the yucca smoothie, but we can make the chips. So it's just yucca and butter. Okay, well, let's do this then. Let's make, um, we're going to need some waters too. 
and some fat. Okay, let's make a hobo stew. Let's make a steak and potato meal, and let's make a vegetable stew. And we're just going to compare those three and see, you know, which one's the best. Um, blueberry pie is pretty good, but again, we only make two of those. We might as well, though, right? Uh, so let's grab the butter. I've got um, some here, too, already. So the butter and the eggs, and I think we need the flour. I, I cooked some more or processed some more flour in there. All right, so what else did we need for that? Um, oh, didn't I just grab some blueberries? thought I did. Okay, so let's... Uh, I'm still missing something. What is it? Oh, bowls. Right, 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 right. Okay, so let's grab some bowls. There. Let's make the two of those that we can make. And we'll put the flour back in there for the moment. Um, this is definitely the best dish that we can make um, by far. I mean, look at that sucker. It gives us 112 food, 56 health, 20 water, and 40 maximum stamina bonus. Um, but that's something we're going to save for mining. Um, so we're not going to eat that right now. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna we're just going to make these two here and then we're going to compare the three hobo steak potatoes and vegetable um well we can make meat stew too yeah we should probably let's cook up a meat stew both white and red meat stew are exactly the same in terms of their nutrients so let's make one of those uh, and put that in the mix too we'll put that in front of the blueberry pie because we already have some blueberry pies for comparison Okay, so we got the steak potatoes there. We got the blueberry pies there. Um, oh, you know what else we could do is make a salad. Um, so let's go here. Recipes. Let's make a garden salad, and we'll also compare that, too. That's kind of expensive, though, too. I mean, this is using five of each of our veggies. So what is... What's this using? See, that's only using two of each. Uh, what? A, that's using two of each. And that's using two of each. So actually, you know, this is actually kind of expensive. Um, but it's not bad food. I mean, it's, it gives you 42 food, which isn't bad. Okay, so yeah, we're just waiting for these two. And then we'll do our comparison and decide, you know, what we can get the most bang for our buck out of with what we have to work with. Uh, and again, you know, carrots are you know, where we're the, have the least amount of for now. But I planted another uh, 10 more. So we have like 30 carrots. I also increased the corn. I basically increased all the, the main veggies to 30. So corn, cabbage, carrots, tomatoes, onions, uh, potatoes, and mushrooms, I think, have all been increased to 30. If you're wondering why I don't have as much produce as you think I should, it's because... We turned all that stuff in the seat. Uh, we also have pumpkins, so we can make pumpkin bread. But pumpkin bread requires flour, and that's kind of expensive, too. Okay, so now we got our veggie stew. And there's really a couple of ways to look at the food. Um, the obvious way, of course, is how much actual food does it give you. But you also want to look at the stamina bonus, particularly for mining. Because I don't really use my auger for mining. I still mine by hand. So, you know, that stamina bonus is important for that reason. Okay, so we've got about 28 seconds left on that. While we're waiting for that, let's uh, let's do our points. So we've got six points to spend, and we're halfway to the next level, which is great. Uh, we are working on perception. Uh, so what we're going to do is um, we can take the next level of lucky. And we need... Perception 6 in order to take the next level of Penetrator. All right, so let's take that. And then we get that. So that's Puncturer. Ignore 35% of armor. Um, armor piercing rounds can penetrate two additional targets or block up to 750 hit points when using Hunting Marksman or Sniper Rifle. So that's good. Okay, so we still have two points left. Um, I'm uh, Again, my pipe bombs are 
damn near one-shotting every monster, even the super monsters. So, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's broken or what. But as long as the cheap pipe bombs keep working, we might as well not put points into this or, you know, make the more expensive grenades until it becomes apparent to me that I need to do so. Okay. So yeah, let's. Uh, I want to get both of these maxed out. The nice thing about this though is neither one of these I think require us to max out perception itself um, so you know that way we don't have to do that so we're gonna put these next two points into here uh, which means we can now max out lucky looter when we get more points which we'll probably do on our next level up and then we have to just put two more into perceptive eight in order to get maximum penetrator all right so that's where we're at with our points Okay, let's take a look at the meat stew, and we'll just, we'll just do a comparison here. Okay, so this gives us 64 food and 30 maximum stamina bonus, which is pretty good, actually. This gives us, this is basically inferior in every way, um, but it is cheaper to make, steak and potatoes. This is inferior in every way. It's a little bit cheaper to make. This is inferior in every way. This is inferior in every way except for water. Okay, so there's no question that hobo stew is better than all of the rest of these dishes. Okay, now how does steak and potatoes compare to... Okay, so steak and potatoes is better than blueberry pie um, and salad and veggie stew and meat stew. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. Now, uh, blueberry pie is better than garden salad better than veggie stew and better than meat stew so it, it's kind of coincidental that i've put these in order so far i didn't actually do that on purpose garden salad is better than vegetable stew for health but not for food and you you know we don't really use food for health so that means to me that veggie stew is better than garden salad particularly because it's cheaper to make i mean these require five of each of the main vegetables these only require two Okay, um, and then garden salad compared to meat stew also is better health-wise. Um, no, wait a minute. Okay, garden salad is better than meat stew food-wise, but not health-wise. But again, I'd, I'd favor food over health. So that's the order of these dishes from best to worst um, when we're looking at both food and stamina, which are really the only two things that I care about right that doesn't have better stamina that doesn't have better stamina that doesn't have any stamina and yes this is even worse because it doesn't have any stamina bonus at all and it's quite expensive to make so i mean what did that require again garden salad yeah i mean five of each of all the main veggies well not all of them it's not using cabbage, corn, or potatoes. But for what you get, I, I actually don't think this is really all that, that great, you know, Com in, in comparison to these dishes here. So what that means is we're going to make as much hobo stew as we can and then follow it up by as many steak and potatoes as we can. We've already maxed out as much blueberry pie as we can because eggs are the thing, but we have 10 of those already, which is good. Excuse me. Okay, so let's grab some boiled waters. I think we should already have everything we need for the hobos, too. Oh, yeah, let's get some more wood going here. Okay. So we can make a total of nine hobo stews. So let's do that. Now, um, after that, we can make 50 steak and potatoes. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> no reason not to. No reason not to. Goodness gracious. Okay, so we're going to need 47 minutes of burn time. Wow. Going to open up our own restaurant with that, man. Okay, so that leaves not... Pretty much nothing left for us to make in terms of the our, our best foods. Now we can still make you know some of the lesser foods like the baked potatoes and all that, but 
I don't think we need to. I mean, that's a huge amount. You know, I've, I still got a shitload of bugs, too, but this is actually, this bug kebab is actually really good food for what it is. But, it, you know, it is an early game food. Um, yeah, we can make the chili dogs and all that sort of thing, too, but I don't think we're going to worry about that. We can make hash browns, fudge, sugar extract. Hmm. How, how do you make that? Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, we've got honey. But yeah, I mean, I don't think we need to make any anything else with, especially with 50 of these. That's definitely going to last us. And with these other foods, that's definitely going to last us before the next garden harvest. So yeah, we're in great shape. Okay, so that takes care of our food. All right, so guys, I think what we're going to do, uh, since it's nighttime, I really don't want to do another quest at night. <laughs> it's just, well, yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious why I shouldn't want to do that, right? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut the camera here, and I'm going to just oh, maybe mine or something overnight. Oh, excuse me. I've got a bunch of stuff that I really kind of need to fix up and sell. I mean, look at all this crap that we have in here. I might work on that or I might mine. And then in the morning, we will, uh, you know, we'll do the next quest uh, or this, this tier three quest. But I think uh, that's probably it for, for this episode anyway. So we'll probably just do that in the next episode. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.